What's going on guys? My name is James Collects and if you are finding me for the first time, I am both a nerdy collector and an eBay reseller. So yeah, this is what happened on Sunday. Not a lot. Uh, weather is abysmal. Um, as you guys saw, the car boot was pretty much empty. It was mainly traders and as I've said before, traders prevent recording basically. So it seems like every time we might be getting somewhere, something else happens and stops me from bloody recording, which is really, really, really annoying. Um, so there's not a lot of gaming bits. We'll probably do that first and get that out of the way because I know there is people who are here purely for that. So we'll do the gaming stuff first and then we'll do all the bits to resell after. So this is all from one car boot. First up is Peter Jackson's The King Kong. The King Kong? Peter Jackson's King Kong on the PS2. This is the special edition. I think I paid two quid for this, which, I mean, it's a game you see everywhere, but I've not actually seen the uh, the steelbook out, so that's going in my personal steelbook collection. Star Wars Battlefront. I think I either played this one or Battlefront 2 uh, with my little brother when it first came out. So, again, two pounds. And you can't go wrong with a bit of GTA. Uh, this lady had loads of different GTAs. Oh, no, that was someone else. There was someone who had loads of games, and they wanted like £3 a game, which was stupid. So, yeah, right, while well, I remember. So there was someone selling loads and loads of games, and they wanted £3 a piece. So I ended up picking up a good dozen, but I didn't know she wanted £3 at the time. Um, and she wanted like £24 for like a small handful of stuff. It's like, uh, what's your pricing on that? So she said three pound a game, blah, 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 blah. So like, okay, I'll just have the controller, which you guys will see next. Uh, so, I, and then as I was walking away, she said, well, what would you be prepared to pay? I said, well, generally speaking, between 50p and a pound for a PS2 game and between one and two pounds for a PS1 game. So like, okay, no problem. So basically, one of the other guys ended up getting a couple of uh, Tony Hawk's Pro Skaters. They uh, paid two pound a piece and also got the... Um, the gentleman's number as well um because apparently he's got racks and racks of them so uh yeah it'll be interesting to see what he gets from that here's the controller paid a fiver for the nice blue playstation 2 controller honestly cannot remember if i have one of these or not so i'm gonna have to go to my lockup and check the condition of this one and the one that i've already got if i do have one and then keep the better one for myself uh, it was a fiver by the way Sealed Portal 2 for the Xbox 360, paid a pound. Two Wii Mario Kart wheels, paid a pound for the pair. The old PC game, the big box version for Jedi Knight. Uh, this was actually a freebie and it came with a load of Hobbit stuff which you guys will see in a moment. Two WWE belts paid two pounds a piece. Uh, now there was someone here um, at this car boot last weekend. He had like 20 of them. He wanted seven pounds a piece. I don't know if I could told you or not, but they were like missing bits of Velcro and everything else. So I paid, yeah, two pounds each, and I'm quite happy with that. I thought the spinny one. I think the spinny one's worth quite a bit of money, actually. So, yeah, the guy who I bought these off, um, he's, I say he's a young lad. He's probably like 18, 19. Um, he's going traveling around Asia. So, uh, yeah, I hope that four pound that I gave you um, buys maybe, I don't know, probably two or three beers out there, I would have thought. Next up, we have some toys. So we're going into the reselling side of things now. Um, I paid £15 for the pair. The big one was 10 The smaller one was 6 but I got it down to 5 Uh Yeah, right. It is Beautiful Horse Showtime Trailer. Uh, paid a fiver. The last one I saw um, as I was checking eBay, I think unboxed was £10. So I'm going to aim for maybe... I might go for 30 including postage and um, with best offer on it and just see how it goes obviously i need to take it all out make sure it's all there although um i got the impression that it was well looked after i mean this is from jesus christ it's from like 1990 something or other where is it 1998 so yeah this is a good few years old and as you can see the box is in still fairly good condition so i would hazard a guess it's all going to be there from the same lady we have amy's ponytails apple tree stables now i can only find one of these when i did look online very very briefly 
Unboxed version sold for £33 plus postage. So I think I might stick this on at maybe 60 um, boxed and yeah, best offer on it obviously and just see how it goes. But yeah, it's it's in quite decent condition and this is made by Bluebird and it's from the year 1997. Back to the first pickup of the day. This is when it was like really, really, really bad. This was 25. Um, he had it for sale last week for 50. Uh, he wanted 30, got down to 25. I think the last one, which was spares or repairs, went for 50 plus postage and is a Hitachi TRK8050E. It says it's working, um, but it means that I get to test out some of the tapes that I bought a couple of weeks back. So yeah, no manual, but it's boxed. It's got all the styrofoam, so fingers crossed. I reckon we're, we're looking at a decent bit of wedge here. And now my favorite pickup, because it's something that you're not seeing very often. Um, I paid £5 a piece. This came with the Star Wars game that I showed you earlier, the big box one. So yeah, paid £5 a piece. I'm going to give my brother first refusal, um, as I do with any Lord of the Rings stuff. So if he wants it, he can have it. If he doesn't want it, I will sell it. So as for what it's worth, individually, um, I've not checked them all out yet, but I reckon between five and ten pounds a piece. But there's there's a couple which I haven't yet found online. So trying to get an accurate price as for what it is worth is going to be fun. So I might as well show you the bits. So we're speaking to Rob and just through a quick glance, we're fairly certain this came from the, um, the Lord of the Rings, the animated series. So first up, we have Gandalf the Wizard. Uh, as you can see, it's brand new in its packaging. Unfortunately, it's not the full set. For memory, we are missing the Nazgul, which um, no doubt is going to be one of the most popular figures. So yeah, it's got a nice quote going around the, uh, the bottom of it as well. It's a bit of a bendiness in the cardboard, but apart from that, it's not that bad, actually. Next up is Fire Balrog, uh, which looks pretty damn awesome. I need to adjust the lighting one second. There we go. Now you can see it properly. So the Fire Balrog here is only 54,000 approximately years old. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's really cool. I like it. We'll see if my brother wants it, but if not, I don't know. Should be good. Next up is Frodo the Hobbit, which obviously looks nothing like Elijah Wood. Um, I'm kind of glad we got Elijah Wood and not this fellow because he's he looks like like one of those guarding gnomes, which looks like it would come to life and just kill you in your sleep. So yeah, uh, we have. Wow, he's fifty. I didn't know he's that old, um, especially in the films because they were really immature. Next up, we have Ugluck, Ugluck the Orc. Come on, focus for me. What are you doing? There we go. So it's got armor. It's got a helmet. It's, uh, yeah, I need to go through and find out what all of these are worth. That's if my brother doesn't want them. But I don't know. Um, I think he prefers the Funko Pops that I got him, to be fair. And yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Next up is Gimli the Dwarf. Again, completely brand new and sealed. Well worth a fiver in my opinion. Next up is Galadriel, which she's the the elf, isn't she? That gives them the, the vial of something or other. I can't remember. I've not seen the Lord of the Rings films in a bloody long time. Um, we don't know how old she is though. I presume she's like, what, a million years old or something? But yeah, again, part of the same bundle. The second to last figure is the white. So his race is unknown. Uh, his powers are, he, he can cause living beings to fall asleep, raise mist and inhabit dead bones. Which is kind of cool. And there's a bit of marking on top. I'll try and clean that off, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. And the last one, and probably my favourite, is going to be Gollum the Evil Hobbit. Which, I think this may be like a chase version. Because the other one that I saw online was normal colours. So... I don't know, but these are all articulated as well. So they'd be good for photography. But yeah, the, the fish, a nice addition. And obviously got a little boat and his little stand. So yeah, that's really, really nice. I do like that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this set though, if my brother doesn't want them. Hmm, but still only 40 quid. 
and there we go that is the whole of this day done um as i say i only did the one car boot i would go and do another one this afternoon but i think the weather being terrible and to be honest me burning the candle from both ends i i'm i'm starting to feel a tiny bit run down so it's only what half nine quarter ten so i plan to have the rest of the day off and actually turn myself off and just yeah just disappear from reality for a little while would be nice uh yeah i've got a new dishwasher being delivered yay highlights of my life uh and there is a round of the giveaway as to what it is no idea but it's going on anyway um yeah as always thank you for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i will see you lovely lot in the next video i said that oddly sexually my apologies adios